Okay, for this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a particle system to your bird prefab. Now, I've duplicated my prefab just so I can demonstrate um, on one that doesn't have it since I've already set it up. Um, so on your bird prefab, you're gonna scroll on down to uh, the inspector window and you're gonna click add component. And the component that you're going to add is going to be a particle system. Uh, now we're also going to create a new script called particle script and I'll show you that in a moment. So on your particle system component, you see a whole bunch of different options. It can be a little bit overwhelming at first. Um, I'll scroll down right here as you can see, you know, they, they almost never end. If I double click on my prefab, you're going to see in the hierarchy, I no longer see the scenes view. Instead, I'm going to see just like the, the prefab view and I can sort of see what my prefab does here in what is the scenes window. So the particle system is used for creating things like smoke or, or fire or water or just uh, like dust and debris. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with it. We're going to look at it uh, in a fairly simple fashion. Now, by default, you're going to see these uh, pink squares emitting from the particle system. First thing that we're going to do is go to the renderer option right here. Make sure that it's checked. And we're going to choose a material. By default, it's set to none. We're going to choose the sprites default material. It'll turn it white. But what that's going to allow you to do is go up to the bird prefab um, under the particle system right here and choose a start color. Now, I'm going to choose a color that matches my bird so for me that's going to be this yellow color right here not then exactly oh actually it did work i just need to choose the color picker so it's the correct color yellow now there's this other option where i can click this triangle and i can go to uh, random between two colors and so that allows the particle system to have multiple colors and so just sort of more interesting you can see it's sort of randomly selecting two colors between the yellow and the white i'm going to choose a uh, an orangish color uh, maybe orange or yellow right there. All right, that's sort of what I like. Um, now you can see in the particle effect controller right here, I can stop it and I can hit restart. And you're going to see one of the options is looping. Now we're not going to want a looping um, particle emitter. And so if I hit stop, you'll see that the duration is five seconds. So that means that the particles exist for five seconds. Um, but then also there's this uh, start lifetime. Uh, rather, I should say that the particle emitter is going to emit for five seconds, but they're going to exist. The lifetime of each individual particle is going to be five seconds. And so our um, time frame is a quarter of a second. So I'm going to change these to 0.25 and then 0.25 right here. Um, and then you can see the effect that that has. Let me hit restart. And so now, boom, like they only exist for a short period of time. Um, but you can also see now there's only two of them because there isn't that much time for the particles to emit. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to emission right here, and I'm going to click uh, this list is empty plus button. And now you can see that there's going to be you know 30 of these things. So if I hit restart, boom, we got a whole bunch of them, um, but they're all pretty big right now. Um, and they're also kind of uh, slow. And so if I go to start speed, it's set to five right here. If I increase that to 10, so double the speed, hit restart. So they, they travel a greater distance. Um, they're all still too big to really see what's going on. So I'll make this like 0.125, so like an eighth of its original size. I'll hit restart, boom. So now they you know magnify. Let me make that a quarter, I think. Uh, an eighth is too small. So let's hit restart. Boom. Okay, I kind of like the way that that looks, but I still want my speed to be increased a little bit more. So about 20 right here. So I'll hit play. Boom. Okay, I kind of like the way that that looks. You might have to refine it once you get it into the game and, and see. Now, I don't want this to play on awake, just like we don't want our audio file sound effects to just like play as soon as the level starts. So I'm going to uncheck that. Um, and now uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have. You can go ahead and you can play around with those values to sort of dial those settings in even further. And the next thing that we're going to do is go to our scripts folder. We're going to create a script called particle script. And our particle script is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see right here, we are uh, going to write uh, void on collision enter 2D. Um, I currently set this up as a private uh, method, but it doesn't really matter. I can get rid of that altogether, I believe, and it should still work. And so basically what this is doing is when uh, the bird all right, is going to collide with something else that has a box collider on it, 
on Collision Hunter 2D is detecting that. I am then going to take the particle system and I'm going to play it. And so I'm using get component particle system. So since particle script is going to be attached to my bird prefab, which I have already done, it's going to take a minute for this to, to load. It's finding the particle system component and then it's using the play method in order to control it to play. Now I'm also doing one additional thing. Um, I am also setting the sprite renderer to false. So I am disabling the sprite render because I want my bird prefab to sort of disappear and turn into the particle system um, upon that collision. And so now if we jump back into here, I'm going to go to scene one. I have this already wired up with, uh, with, with slightly different colors um, on my bird prefab. Uh, you can see if I press play, I'm going to instantiate my bird. When I click, I'm going to fly upward and you'll hear that uh, flying sound effect. But when I collide with my pipe, you're going to hear that splat sound effect and you're going to see the particle system. And that is how you can wire up a particle system to create this sort of, you know, dying sound effect and uh, visual effect.